So we got the Z1 Motorsports Planum Spacer installed on the 350Z a couple of days ago and I've been driving the car around just to see if I can get a feel for it so I can make this video for you guys. Watch before you buy the Planum Spacer from Z1 Motorsports, trust me. I would say the installation process takes about 45 minutes to an hour, something like that. It might even be quicker for you, maybe take you a little bit, a little bit longer depending on how slowly you go. Uh, it's pretty simple to remove that upper plenum and, and disconnect some of the hoses and the connections, being careful not to damage that uh, factory gasket. I actually already filmed this video while driving the car around, but the Tome exhaust is so loud, it just kind of distorts the audio, makes it unlistenable, if that is a word. So it's kind of obnoxious, but I want to go over the normal things I do with Watch Before You Buy videos, and that is, what is this plenum spacer supposed to do? It is supposed to raise the front end of that upper plenum, the, the upper portion of the plenum, uh, up, allowing that air to flow more evenly across those six uh, intake runners. Uh, so if you actually look under there, um, the, the back portion uh, is where the intake air actually enters from the throttle body and the cold air intake or your factory intake. Uh, the plenum spacer raises that front up, allowing more air, theoretically, allowing more air to those front runners. Uh, and where you're supposed to feel it is in the mid-range and those upper, that upper RPM range, uh, giving you a little bit more power and a little more grunt uh, in that range. So uh, it makes sense, theoretically. So I had to install it in for about 200 bucks or so. It seems to be a no-brainer. Throttle, to me, has always felt pretty snappy in this car. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm looking for a little bit of throttle response improvement as well. So the big question always is, does it work? And to me, honestly, I felt the difference. And it wasn't just a little bit of a difference. It was quite significant, actually. And it's not just my butt dyno. Trust me, I, the difference is quite noticeable. More noticeable than most of these sort of, um, these types of parts, you know, that are just a couple hundred bucks and easy installation, basic bolt-ons. Uh, very rarely do you feel the difference that I feel uh, after installing this. said throttle response in this car has always been pretty snappy so I wasn't surprised when I didn't notice a big difference there however the no the, the area that I did notice a big difference is exactly uh, where they say you should and that is at that mid-range or that upper rpm range uh, when this car now after installation gets over 5,000 rpm it still pulls strong and it pulls strong through redline which is really exciting uh, prior to this as I said once you hit that you know 45 4,800 rpm range it just felt like the car was screaming and not pulling at all now it's got some grunt at that rpm range and I'm digging that not only that it sounds different at that rpm range not only can I feel it pulling harder uh before where it felt like the car was just screaming. Now it has sort of a, a lower tone to it, a more uh, deep, more aggressive tone, like it's actually working. Gotta say, this is one of the more exciting parts that I've installed in this car. A lot of it was, has just been sort of maintenance parts and obviously some of my uh, braking and handling upgrades have gone a long way in making the car feel better, but it's nice to uh, take a little bit of time only, spend a couple hundred bucks, add a basic little part to it, and it makes such a big difference. I'm really excited about that. Now I have some plans for this car and some things in mind for the future, but for now, I just really wanted to 
a nice little ripper, essentially. A car that I know I can uh, beat on and I can handle it. One that's fun, nimble, and pretty darn quick. And I think we've accomplished that at this point. We still have some parts to install here. And I haven't put the strut cover brace on yet because we're going to do motor mount still in this car. Uh, that should be coming up here in the next week or so. So stick around uh, for that. We'll be testing those out and uh, giving you some feedback on those Z1 Motorsports engine mounts. Now they do provide hardware for you to kind of space that uh, strut tower up so it doesn't hit your raised plenum. I'm already having an issue though because of because of the motor mounts being bad. There's a lot of flex in the engine so we can see uh, it hit the hood. So that kind of sucks but we'll be fixing that and uh, once the motor mounts are in we shouldn't have to worry about that anymore. So what's my final opinion on this watch before you buy the 350Z or G35 plenum spacer from Z1 Motorsports? You definitely should. You definitely should get it. It's well worth the money. Again, just a couple hundred bucks, relatively easy installation, and actually a big difference is made in how your car performs. So go for it. Link in the description below. Check it out. Thanks for watching this one, guys. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below. I get to every single one of them as fast as I possibly can. Thanks again. See you in the next one.